A local hospital is being recognized for its robotic surgery program. The facility is the only one in the state with equipment that lets them live stream surgeries to teach doctors around the country. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch reports. The future's bright, I'll say, for robotics. Dr. Mario Leba, the chief of surgery at Loveless Women's Hospital, says their robotics program that started in 2012 is only improving. So it's gone so much better these days that I mean, it can do things that my hand can't do and my, I can see things that my eyes can't see. So it definitely can assist me in doing a better surgery, I believe. The equipment his team uses is called the Da Vinci XI system. Dr. Leba says using robotic tech is safer, more efficient, and there's less blood loss. With it, he can use the robot's four arms, camera, and control system to work on patients. I can do pretty much any abdominal surgery that I want, any from colon cancer to gallbladder to abdominal wall, uh, complex hernia repairs like what we do. Um, so a variety of surgeries can be done. Leba says their facility is one of the highest volume robotic centers for general surgery. Many around the country and world often join his team through telesurgery to watch as they perform surgery with the robot's help. In fact, recently I did a live surgery from this this room all the way to Nashville, Tennessee, where I had a thousand surgeons in an auditorium watching me do a gallbladder and abdominal wall hernia surgery. As the technology grows, so does the expertise of the physicians, but it's the compassion that will always be most important. Even though technology is advancing, it still has the human touch, right? It still has the compassion of the, of the surgeon. He or she is at the, at the bedside. We're still evaluating the patients. We're still doing all the things we need to do. It's just we're utilizing the technology to get a better outcome. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE News 13. Dr. Leba says over the next month, there are two scheduled surgeries they will live stream to surgeons to teach them procedures.